So for the last few days I've been getting extremely excited about the prospect of today coming out to do some landscape photography and that is because I've been watching the weather forecast and it's been predicting for today a cold spell beginning today and as you can see all around me there's a lovely covering of frost and that's what's been getting me so excited frost sprinkles some magic over the landscape and that's what I'm hoping to capture today convey the feeling in my images of this cold frosty winter's morning with a lovely covering of frost so I'm really looking forward to just exploring and see if I can capture a nice image or two So I found something here that I'm really pleased with. I've got my composition set up and I'm pointing upstream. And the composition's got a lot of the elements that I wanted to capture today. It's got the look of a cold winter scene. There's frost on some of the rocks and there's actually ice on the river itself. So I'm really pleased about that. At the moment there's a bit more light on the scene than when I arrived. When I arrived it was nicely lit but it was an even lighting across the scene and it gave it a slightly colder look. At the moment, elements of the landscape are being nicely highlighted by the light, but it makes the scene look a little bit warmer. So I'm unsure which composition, the earlier one or the one I'm about to take now, that I'll actually prefer. So I'll need to see that on the bigger screen to make up my mind. But we've got the elements I talked about earlier, the look of the cold winter's day. And the ice is actually frozen on the river, creating a wonderful curve and it just leads your eye off up into the nice trees in the distance. I'm doing a long exposure. Earlier on it was about a minute 35 seconds, but at the moment with the light it's down to about a minute. And that's just capturing some of the nice patterns as the river flows off into the distance. But I really like it. There's some really interesting trees as well, which I'm including in my composition. And the rocks over at the left have got some nice fr cold frost on them. So I really like it. So the camera's set up at the moment to do a one minute long exposure. I've got the timer set. On the front of the camera is my polarizer and underneath my cloth is a 10 stop ND filter. So that's the timer kicked off. That'll go for one minute. And while that image is capturing, I'd just like to talk about something that I think is really important and that's our own safety when we're out doing landscape photography or even walking. I think it's important to tell people where you're going but also, while we're out ourselves, or even if there's someone there, be very, very careful as we walk and try to get into positions to take nice images. We're all keen to capture lovely images, of course we are, but I think you have to be very mindful of your own safety. Ice, rocks, frost, it can all be treacherous. You can be walking along and then the next minute you end up on your back. It can be really, really dangerous. The coast is another treacherous place. Some rocks are almost as if they're covered in oil. You just step onto one and there's no way you can keep your footing. So just be really, really careful. I think it's important to think about that even more than about the actual photography itself. But this image should almost be captured now. Here it is. The histogram is perfect. No clipping at either end. The image looks really nice. I won't know which one I prefer until I get home. The image I've just captured with some more light on it or the more even lighting earlier, but I hope you like it regardless of my preference.
Behind me here is where I've captured my final image for today. The first image I captured today I'm really pleased with. It took in a significant area in terms from left to right and also extended off into the distance to the trees. So it's been quite an area on that shot. I've been looking and spending a lot of time looking for something very specific. I wanted to focus on a smaller area of the landscape to really try and include a lot of the frost and ice and show just how cold it is today. And off in the, the distance here behind me, I think I've managed to achieve that. I was drawn to this particular area because of the rocks in the centre of the river. They've got some wonderful frost and ice on them. There's quite a large rock. Once you look at it in a bit more detail, you can actually see there's some grass on it too. And we've got a really nice shaped rock just down to the left from it with some really nice curves and some ice hanging off it going into the water. So you can feel the coldness of the scene. Then over at the far bank we've got a really old tree which has been stripped of its leaves because it's winter. And there's a branch coming out from that extending over the river and it's got a very nice covering of frost on it too. I'm using the polarizer which is darkening down the river taking off the glare and that's providing wonderful contrast with the lighter white of the frost. Also at the far side of the river we've got some warmer tones in the grass etc which is a really nice contrast to the frost and ice. And I'm using the telephoto lens. As I said I wanted to show a bit more of the finer details and to get in a smaller area. So I'm at 100 millimeters, which is really focused on a, a specific area of the landscape. And I'm using the rocks which are in the centre of the river as my foreground so you can see a lot of the detail on those. It's also bringing in that nice tree and the grass etc at the far side so you can see the details. And I think this is exactly what I was looking for to complement the first shot that I got today. But I've spent a lot of time here. You can maybe see my breath, I don't know, but I can see it at times. It's very cold. And I think I've captured that in this scene, so I'm really pleased with this image and the first one that I managed to get today. But that's it for this particular vlog. As always, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for your time, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one.